The end of that thing is breaking off right now. I'm standing back because I don't want that thing to explode on me. What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. We are actually working on the 370Z. Normally I don't actually do that much to this car because it usually works so well. But I'm changing the whole car up this year. As you guys may have saw in another video, I got this purple wrap. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that I did go ahead and go with the purple wraps. It's going to do like one giant surprise, but um, I actually got a new spoiler that came in the mail the other day, so we're gonna install that today. And before we install it, we actually need to take this white wrap off and then wrap the hatch purple. This wrap has been on here for years. Not sure exactly how long, because I bought it like this, but I know it's been on there for a long time. So it's probably gonna be kind of a pain to take off. First things first, let's get the spoiler off. I actually did take the bolts out the other day because I thought the spoiler would just pop right out, but um, it doesn't, so I will show you guys how to actually get that off properly. Need the heat gun. Okay, so are you kidding me? There's a train. If you guys are actually taking this wing off, there's three bolts under there, three or four, I think. I think there's four actually. And uh, basically, you just pop it open, rip that plastic down. It's all clips, so you can you just gotta pull it hard, undo the bolts, and then the rest apparently is just clips. And uh, they use 3M adhesive to put it on here, which I'm gonna go ahead and use this heat gun heat it up and try and start lifting this thing off. Holy, it's off, it's off. Okay, so as you guys can tell, that was not easy whatsoever. I basically had to use all my strength and pull this thing off. And it looks like it was just a bunch of sticky tape, and then these are the uh, holes I was talking about. But anyway, she's off. Obviously, that needs to be cleaned. I need to get that other wrap off first. But I do want to show you guys the spoiler because it is pretty sick, and it's all carbon fiber. Boom, look at this thing, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how many 370 people I have to watch my channel, but I might actually start selling these here in the future. So if anyone would be interested in buying these, let me know. But anyway, let me get on here and you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, look how lame that thing looks without a spoiler. Fall on me, don't fall on me. Oh my. <laughs> this thing looks insane. Granted, it looks kind of bad without the rear bumper, but that thing's gonna look sick. Uh, obviously, there's no bolts or anything in right now, because like I said, I gotta take this wrap off. So, we're gonna pull this wrap off. It's gonna take me a little while with the heat gun, get all of that off, and then bust out the purple wrap. Okay, so probably after 30 minutes, I finally got all the adhesive off. Now I'm gonna start cleaning it, and then I got a clay bar, so I'm gonna clay bar this, and then we should be good to wrap it. This is so satisfying to do, so listen to this now. And then I just did this area right here, and now listen. It's like butter. And you can actually hear it picking up stuff. You can hear how rough it is, so that's what I'm going to do to this entire hatch. All right, so I've been cleaning this thing for a while now. Got most of these edges cleaned up pretty decent. Shouldn't show up in the wrap. This probably will, but you know, the motto is it's a drift car, so it doesn't need to be perfect. It's gonna get beat up. So anyway, all this is clean. I cleaned under here really well. And then I also cleaned the windshield off, so that way there's not dust just moving around like crazy. And I'm about to clean up here and up there. I haven't wrapped in a while, so this is gonna be very interesting. Got the wrap right here. I'm just gonna start rolling it out. Cut it, and we'll see how this goes. Got my huge roll, here we go. Okay, so you probably noticed that I stopped wrapping right there in that video. That's because I messed up twice. I really just needed another person to help me do it, so I ended up having Jack come over. We did end up getting this thing wrapped really, really well. Having the second hand really helped, and it's on literally perfect. No bubbles anywhere, no wrinkles anywhere. Edges are tucked really well. Did a pretty good job, so we still gotta put the spoiler on. Jack is on his way, and we're about to put the spoiler on. We're good, and it'll be on there. Fully mounted. Okay, so I just pounded out some chicken nuggets, courtesy of Jack over here, and we're about to actually put this wing on. I gotta get the light in first, and then once that's in, we're good to go. Okay, the light is officially in. Now it's time for the spoiler. I mean, don't do the whole thing. 
Oh, I'm gonna do the whole thing. No, you could just do like a piece here. Or the whole thing. Oh yeah. Try to prep that, don't you think? No, give her a little prep prep. Dude, that's a sick cookie eating face right there. This guy eats box. Very good. Yeah. They almost overcooked them. Yeah. They're almost uh, too hard. They told me that the, uh, that's what she said. They told me that, that the fries were fresh out of the fry thing. I don't know why. And I, yeah, I was munching on them on the way here. Not gonna lie. Is that why there was so many? <laughs> I only had like eight. Are you sure this is even where the tape goes? Oh, 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 it's magic. Do you need help? Oh, that thing's sexy. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I got three of the four bolts in, so it should be sturdy enough with all this 3M tape. What do you, what do you think, Jack, you think it's gonna stay? Yeah. Hopefully. I'm gonna put some weight on it just to hold it down, but it looks real good. Real good, what do you think, dude? Looks good. She's, she's pretty solid, I don't think she's going anywhere. And there's three of the four bolts in with all that tape, so it should be good. Look at that. Looks super good, Jack's undoing the roof, so we can do that in the future. We are wrapping as much as we possibly can tonight. It's already like probably 11.30 or something down. Yeah. Maybe 11. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm taking the hood off right now because I got a new hood, which I'll show later. I got new fenders right there. New doors, those are gonna be a video of themselves because those are some special doors. Damn. That was an Olympic lift right there. That's pretty good. That was a good form. I just got this fender off. Literally took five seconds. Look at this thing. I should have run it one day with no body panels. But anyway, I'm going to grab one of these new fenders, give it a quick little locker wipe down, and then start wrapping. Jack's still going at the roof here. He's having a real tough time. As you can tell, that's why he's on his phone. <laughs> and uh... I told me to get on my phone. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Yeah. My bad. But yeah, this shouldn't take me too long. These should be pretty easy. They're super smooth. No sharp edges or anything besides here, but this should be pretty easy. So look at this old piece of junk. Okay, so I got one fender done. There's still a lot of air bubbles, as you can tell on camera. Wow, it looks horrible on camera. But they all, uh, they all press right out. I just need to get a squeegee and actually push all this down. So I'll do that at some point. But anyway, Jack's taking the Z logo out, so we're gonna slap it in here and then bolt this thing back up. But it is purple and it looks good, just not on camera. What? Those bubbles. Hey, yeah, they're coming out. Yeah. Nice. Like I said, I just need a squeegee. Yeah. Oh, doctor! <laughs> so I ended up getting the fender on and then I wrapped one more thing was this pillar. Like I said, there's still bubbles. I need a squeegee. Once I get a squeegee, this will all be perfect. But all the bubbles are pretty much out of this um, fender as you guys can see. And yeah, so this thing's starting to really look amazing. The doors will probably be the next video and then the hood after that. But for now, oh, this duck bill and hatch looks amazing. And I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. So. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be tons more content coming with the Z. The 240's currently gone. Anyway, that's the Z. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, I'll speak Peace out. All right, so if you guys made it this far, I'm gonna put some 240 content in because it's all looking pretty again for a car show and uh, I just have a bunch of footage left over. So I'm gonna throw it in because some funny stuff happened when I was throwing the windshield in. Woo! <laughs> Things like bending. <laughs> The end of that thing's breaking off right now. I'm standing it back because I don't want that thing to explode on me. It broke it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh man. You're going dub? Got it. Send her home. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's a real good beat, dude. I'm returning this when I'm done. <laughs> what, the cock or the gawk gun? Both. <laughs> Shrugs. <laughs> <laughs>
kind of funny, dude. I still have a lot to do. <laughs> I can't help it. You don't think I realized when I saw it plus on the side of the TV? <laughs> window it's on I think it'll stay in it doesn't have any trim which is kind of annoying because because I ordered too small a trim we're gonna be saying bye to this thing for the weekend got it outside and man does it look good I forgot how much I love this car and how good it looks when it's actually put together